Hey y'all, N4 H&H &H here. Well, this is what my shack looks like as of now. And you might be thinking, why do you have so many ham clocks running? Well, the one over here on the left, uh, that's running off of the Quadra from Innovata. And I've got it set up a little differently than I do the other ones. I do show the VOA cap and the DX cluster. And in the top right there, I'm showing, well, 48 degrees there. That's my local weather right now. And then there you see the solar uh, flux index, X-ray, planetary K, lower the better on that number. Uh, and the BZ, that's a kind of a prediction of aurora activity. Pretty, but not good for communications. But there you go, that one. And then here, the HF clock, which runs the ham clock software. I've got it set to show maximum usable frequency, soda spots, DX cluster, and things such as that. And uh, the one on the right over here, I'm showing the same data. This is Now this one's running through Ubuntu, so it's emulating Linux. And um, this one is running the same in the top, but the map I'm using is the terrain map. You see there, terrain right there. So they're all three showing me a little bit different information. Um, and then, of course, there's the FTDX10. That's what I've been using. Uh, my new logging software that I'm really happy with from N3FJP. That's their amateur contact log. I've been uh, chasing soda stations and using the function keys on my keyboard to send the CW. So this is the current state of the shack. Of course, there's my trusty little uh, Yesu 2980 that I use for a base station for two meters, uh, 80 watts. There's my antenna switch over there um, when I switch this software here the Elecraft control software over to antenna one down to the lower left it goes over to that gray switch and then whatever antenna I have selected over there is the one it uses antenna two what it's selected on now that is the doublet antenna that is connected over here to the KPA 1500 which is on a separate table there's its power supply below it so, current state of the shack. There's the cable, the coax, LMR 409 feet of it that goes up to the ballon for the doublet. So there's your quick little tour of my shack. Um, I mean, I you know I do operate in low light. I, I, I have that lamp over there that puts out a kind of a blue hue. Believe it or not, I can change the color by twisting the bulb to different color patterns. But uh, there you go, a little, uh, little tour of the shack. Oh, and look at this. I want to show you this neat little keyboard that came with the Innovator Quadra. Um, and you can just use that as a trackpad for the mouse to control that. All you have to supply is a monitor. Everything else comes with it. Uh, I will admit the, <laughs> the HDMI cable that they put in mine did not work. And for a while I was fighting trying to get a video uh, on that screen. And so I would just went and got my own HDMI cable and got it working. But there you go. I'll back off a little bit. There's the shack. I'm very pleased with how it is now, but you guys know we're always making changes to our shack. Hey, thanks for watching videos on my channel. I really do appreciate you. And I appreciate the Patreon team members who make these videos possible. Without them, this channel would have gone down a long, long time ago, even before the FTDX 10 series. Uh, would have gone down during the time period when I was shooting videos for the FTDX 5000. Of course, I still shoot videos for all of them, but uh, without the support of those uh, long hauler Patreons, uh, Patreon members who support this channel uh, for a year or two or more, um, you know, I couldn't do this. So I'm going to recognize five of them after I say 73 to you, so you can know some of the names of the people who make these videos possible. Feel free to join that team at www.patreon.com. There are some perks, but please don't join just for the perks because, you know, I, I do provide perks because I appreciate you that much. But, you know, joining that team helps offset the cost of the free videos that you watch uh, here on the channel. Um, and I usually put out a couple of week. So, you know, join the team to help defray the cost a little bit, but certainly take advantage of the perks. And their perks vary according to 
uh, what level you join at. The highest level, which is called S9 VIP, you have access to everything. Uh, the only thing that an S9 VIP or a S7 executive would not have access to are the are two documents. The menu optimizations documents that I created for so far six different radios that I feature here on the channel and the FT8 setup document that I've created for the FTDX10 and FT710. You wouldn't have access to those unless you joined as an annual subscriber at S7 or S9 level. But uh, that's that's it. F VIPs have access to uh, the most, and in S7 executives, they have access to a, a lot, a lot. And the S5s, they have access to a good many things as well, just not as much as the executive S7s and the uh, VIP S9s. All right, hey, again, thanks for watching videos on my channel, and uh, stand by for 34 more seconds so you can see some of the people who make these videos possible. 73 from N4 H&H. &H.